guys, it's Danny from Danny the Horse Girl, and today I'm going to be doing 15 questions with always a question. So, let's go. So you can check all of her social medias in the description below. Okay, so we both asked each other 15 questions, so here are the 15 questions I asked her. What is your favorite discipline of riding? When did you start riding? Why did you start riding? Who is your favorite horse? How often do you take lessons? How many horses have you owned? What's your favorite time of year to ride? What discipline did you start on? When, like, when she started riding? How many horses have you ever rode? Future plans with your horses? What is your favorite tack brand? Dream horse and why? Do you, who do you look up most with in riding? Who do you, who got you into riding? Who was the first horse you've ever rode? And now let's answer my questions. Okay, so the first question: How long have you been riding for? So I've been riding my entire life. I was I don't know my exact age when I first like rode a horse, but I've been riding my entire life, and I'm 14, so like 14 years. Ago. <laughs> Basically 14 years I've been riding. Two, how old is Doc? Doc is 19 years old. Yeah, he's eight, well technically he's 18. In May he will be turning 19. And he was born on May 17th, I think. Fun fact of the day. How many horses do you have? I personally own four horses and I lease Diego. So back there is Ruby, I own her. And then I own my mini Lacey, my pony Dusty, and then Doc, and I lease Diego. What level rider do you classify yourself as? Learning still, I don't know. Um, I don't know on that one. I'd have to ask Brandy or my mom, but I don't know. I'm a decent rider, I could say. Um, I have no clue on that one. Sorry. <laughs> I think I'm a decent rider. How high have you ever jumped? I normally jump two six-ish, but the highest I've jumped was on dock and that was three foot, which was super fun too. And I'm planning on jumping three foot throughout the summer too, hopefully. English or Western? Definitely Western or, ah. Bare back. Well, out of those two, I would probably say Western, just because that's what I've always grown up riding, so that'd have to be my answer is Western. Is this bad lighting? Whoa, maybe I'll go back in the shade. No, not that lighting. There's better lighting. My future plans with my horses. Um, with the minis, Ruby and Lacey, I'm just gonna work with them and show them this summer. Dusty, I'm going to work with him, hopefully ride him more this winter and next summer and also, and sell him, hopefully. Bubba just tried to kill Jack. <laughs> and hopefully sell Dusty because, yeah, I'm gonna sell him hopefully. Doc, I'm gonna ride him. I'm maybe gonna give some lessons on him this summertime with a couple of our, one of our 4-H kids. And ride him and then Gwen's also gonna ride him at the fairs and I'm gonna ride him a little bit at fairs too, maybe. And then Diego, ride him over the summer, obviously. <laughs> There's some super exciting things coming up with him and Doc this April-ish, and just in general, ride him, show, and all that good jazz, and clinics too. Favorite horse coat, like color I'm guessing. Um, Appaloosa, Doc, like Appaloosa, or actually Leopard Appaloosa, I love Leopard Appaloosas, they're so pretty. Definitely Leopard Appaloosa. Favorite matchy matchy color, so that's like, like what I'm wearing, like, black on black, like with the horse and stuff, the saddle pad. Um, I don't really have that many magic 
matchy matchy colors, unfortunately. But um, I normally ride gray, and that's really it. Um, that, <laughs> I'm totally getting sidetracked. Sorry, guys. Um, it would probably have to be navy. Navy or that like purple plum color I have on Diego Saddlebad. Favorite horse breed. My favorite horse breed would probably be Appaloosa, just because Doc's an Appaloosa, and I've grown up riding Appaloosas and owning Appaloosas. So it definitely would be Appaloosa. Close second would be paint. Obviously the Diego is a paint. And then third would be Corn Horse, because I've just them. Do you have a dream horse? If so, explain. Um, an amazing horse. <laughs> so, uh, my dream horse would probably be a horse that is very, very, very versatile. I really don't care for color. Probably a taller horse. I like taller horses. I don't really care for color and like what color it is. But very versatile, tall, like jumping, can jump high, can run barrels, can do pleasure classes, can be a ranch horse. That's kind of like, that would be my dream horse. My fastest barrel run. My fastest barrel run is on Diego. It was this last summer in our ro local rodeo and it was 17.17. And it was super fast for me because I went from like riding like, well, it was like 20 seconds on muffin and then, and like 27 on dog and to like running like 17, 18s. So yeah, it was really fast. My biggest accomplishment in my equestrian life would probably be, I don't know, probably being able to do everything that I can do right now. Like I feel like I have lots of opportunities and experiences that I get to do because of my mother, she's amazing. And I have, feel like I have so many opportunities and stuff like that and like going to be able to go into clinics and shows and stuff like that and being able to ride Diego honestly too because I just needed another like boost up from a horse. So my biggest accomplishment, that was totally sidetracked from biggest accomplishment. <laughs> my biggest accomplishment would probably be jumping three foot on dock or running the barrel pattern run on Diego 17.17. That was, why is a barrel pattern run? <laughs> okay, okay. Have you ever had a bad fail, like fail on, like with horses? Um, yes. <laughs> I've had, I've fallen off a couple times. I haven't actually fallen off that much if you think about it. Um, but on Snickers, I was going, so like here's the jump, say my phone's the jump, I'm going this way, then I was gonna turn and hit it like this. It's like I was gonna turn and hit it like this. So you're going this way and he just took a turn like this and I fell off and my foot got caught in the stirrup and I drug like all the way across the arena. That'd probably be my biggest fail. And it wasn't on camera either. My mom wasn't there either. <laughs> How old am I? I am 14 years old. I just turned 14 years old in January. And yeah. So that was 15 questions asked with Eloise Equestrian. You can go check out all of her social media down in the description below. It was a super fun collab. I'm so glad I get to do all these collabs with you guys. And so if you want to do a collab, make sure you DM me on Instagram at Daniel Horse Girl. Or email me at Daniel Horse Girl. <laughs> video for this week make sure to like share and subscribe check out my instagram and tiktok at dating the horse girl so we'll see you guys next time bye check out all of her social medias up in 